tons of people. Everything is on the menu at a Brookfield restaurant. It was a liquidation sale. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne has the deals and memories from Fuddruckers. Eric Rolfson is kind of like your maitre d. At one last visit. And then we need people floating around and helping people. To an iconic uh, Brookfield restaurant. Fuddruckers closed the doors here in 2020, and this is what they left behind. Rolfson says the burger joint was a casualty of the pandemic. It's a shame, because there were always lines to get in. Now there's only a line for carryout. No food, just anything you can get your hands on. And yes, we're going there. Even the urinals are um, up for grabs. Our son got to come here. We knew a bunch of the wait staff by name because we were regulars. Um, just love it and really miss it already, so. Jennifer Stoffel used to sit in this booth with her kids. She's taking a piece back home so her son can still eat with the king. And they got those gas pumps in there and that kind of, it's a lot of memorabilia. Richard Paul stood in line for three and a half hours to be among the first back inside. Well, actually, I thought there'd be more people to begin with. The more people we let in, the slower the checkout process is going to be. Just like the old days, there was a waiting list for a table. One lady said that they wanted some tables for their basement. 70 bucks for all of it. Rolfson says he doesn't know why it took four years to clean the place out. He was hired by the property owner to sell it all off. All the stuff in here, a um, lot of history here. There you go. So this one sold. And he would know Rolfson used to eat here, too. I loved the salads when I came here. You know, the burgers were good, of course, but the salads that they made were monstrous. I mean, we got some of the monstrous bowls over there that I remember eating my salads out of. Yep, those are also for sale. In Brookfield, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. If you feel left out, the sale is open to the public at 10 a.m. daily through Tuesday. Rolfson says he'll start slashing prices on Monday if there's anything that's still left.